played against Michael Jordan, uh, but you inspired what many say was one of his greatest comebacks. In a game you would never think that Mike was going to create this comeback, and yeah. you sparked the moment. And Dax has a photo that we're going to put on the screen that you were gracious enough to bring tonight. This is, may I show this? Yes. This is yes. unbelievable. This is Derek Martin on my right, and to the left, Michael Jordan. And if you look at the monitor, Michael is not too happy with Derek Martin. <laughs> Derek, why isn't he happy? Most people don't understand or know the backdrop that came into this. That's what we want to know. And yes. I want to I give one quick preface yeah. to that, is that I learned about this story because uh, one of the Portland Trailblazers mm -hmm. who played with you with the, at the time, um, uh, Vancouver Grizzlies, yes. uh -huh. when this game happened, uh, Dax, if we get that photo back up there, for because we definitely need to see this photo for this, uh, he played with you, mm -hmm. and he told me the story of what happened. All right, we got this story. And recently, and this is how I found you a few weeks ago, yes. was that it blew up the story and the video of him on our program four years ago blew up on Twitter and got like a half a million views. Yes, and I then went on that. Reddit and then went on Instagram, and yeah. it's like a big deal. And they made sure to cut me out the video. But they talked <laughs> – that's not a joke. It's true. And, they, and, they, and, and they, they talk about your moment with Mike. Give us the backstory, my friend. So here's the backstory. Yes. So the summer before – that year. Uh, 1995. Yes. Michael is doing Space Jams. That's right, Space Jams. So he has uh, a court built down for him on a lot. Here in him, Los Angeles. Yes, here in Los Angeles for him to play basketball. Right. He's got every overseas guy playing and everything. So he's like, this is not challenging to me. He calls Magic Johnson. Says, hey, you got any guys that play at UCLA, I hear about the UCLA legendary runs. Can you send some of these guys down here? So Magic calls me and says, hey, little fella, can you take a couple he, guys down there? Magic called you yeah, and said, little fella. Little fella, <laughs> can you take a couple guys down there and, and play against Mike? I said, all right, cool, no problem. So I get Chris Mills, Tracy Murray, uh, Mitchell former Butler. Former UCLA guys, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. We all grew up together playing since we were 12 and 13. So we go down there and play. We walk in. We're waiting our turn. Finally, it's our turn. We come on. It's 6-6, six, six, going to 7. I come down on the break on the wing and go with what we call a hands-up move, like I'm going to shoot the shot. Michael jumps up. I go by and lay it up for a game. Oh, yeah. I commence to talking the best trash yeah. ever <laughs> against him. I said, You faked the goat. Yes. Michael, you get out of my town. This is my town. Wow, 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 wow. You You're not there. even you the real MJ. My man, Magic Johnson, is the MJ. I'm just oh. going, going, going. Wow, you I'm shot your shot in so many ways. I'm going so hard that Chris Mills, 6'8", picks me up and my feet are dangling. <laughs> Little fella. Yeah, hand over my mouth. And he says, Derek, stop. And I'm like, no. I'm just going in, going in. Two games later, he comes back on. And it, they, their team beat us. So he's following me around the gym now. He's telling you. And this is all in, the, in what you would call like the Space Jam yes. pickup game. Pickup game. Okay. Exactly. Before the season. Before the season. So now we fast forward to the season. Right. We're playing. They're on the, the tail end of a 13-day uh, road trip. Last game in Vancouver. Usually that game is the toughest game. You're just trying to get back home. L long it travel is, yeah, and long trip. it is. So I go by, make a layup, get an N1, get fouled. We go up nine with about three minutes to go. And I tell him, I walk by the bench, I said, I told you we're going to whoop your ass tonight. Oh! Told so, you we're going to whoop your ass tonight. Phil Jackson looks down the bench. I'm like, what do you want to do? So Michael ties the shoot up. And he's not He's not in the game at no, this point. No, not in the game. He has his shoes untied. Th and this is, the, is this the third quarter when this happens? No, this is fourth This quarter. is the fourth quarter. Fourth you quarter. make this move. You guys are up. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. <laughs> I'm for sure we're going to win. Yeah. Like, you can't. Yes. You had the bucket. Yeah. You're up. You can't blow this. They don't need the game. They, this is the year where they win 72, 72 games. games. That's right. We're not losing this one tonight. We're going to take this one home. Ties your shoes up. Takes his towel off. Walks in. The pitcher right there. He stands Two next to me. Boy. And says, little man, I told you about talking trash to me. I said, man, we up nine with three minutes to go. You're not beating me tonight. He went on to score the next gracious. 15 points to beat us. And if you watch the video, the last one he made to win, 
He's looking for me on the bench. Look, he has this little turnaround <laughs> yeah, yeah, that he hits. Yes. And he's like sealed it. Like yes, they're up yeah. at this point. He seals it. He, he looks over it, to you. He, and he's looking for me. And he's like, I told you about talking trash to me. <laughs> and it was, it was a cool moment for me. I heard a legend. Can I say the phrase? Mm-hmm. We, I heard he said the phrase, shut up, you little bitch. Yes. All right. He did say that. Wow. He did say that. But what most you got some don't... stones, my friend. You have some stones. <laughs> most people don't understand. With Michael, with Magic that I've talked trash to, it's about a learning experience for me. Because I was playing on different teams that maybe weren't particularly good at that particular time. So I wanted to see the greatest perform at the greatest level. And for me to see that, Mm -hmm. I kind of had to poke the bear. So You poked the goat, that's for sure. I poked the bear that night, and he showed me truly what greatness meant. And so that was a learning lesson for me for me to be able to take that lesson and carry on and, and eventually have 13 years in the NBA. 